Hi there, my name is William Walchak, and I'm going to talk to you about values-based leadership and why it's important in any organization and how it helps make a lot of decisions. I'll give you a couple examples of what we do here at Highlight. First, what is values-based leadership? So values-based leadership enables you to define what values or what tenets your company should follow. So when we talk about a marketing strategy or a business strategy, we define in a business strategy what our vision statement is, what our mission statement is, and what our core values are. What are core values? So core values are the fundamental tenets within your organization that everyone should know and follow when making decisions or when interacting with clients or with one another. So at Highlight, we have seven of them, passion, communication, positivity, respect, growth, results, and strategy. The reason why we have them is because it helps make decisions a lot easier. Going through my MBA, there was a really good example of where those actually make sense. So the specific example is in relation to Southwest Airlines, where if you're a client who goes up to an airline counter and asks to change a flight, most times the flight attendant or the person behind the counter will simply say no because it's too complex or they'll need to run it up the chain of command. What Southwest Airlines actually does is they ask, will it make the client happy? Will it add anything to the budget? And can I do it? So if you go up to a Southwest Airlines counter, those are the three things that that person needs to answer. If it's yes, they'll be happy to do it rather than actually relying on management for decisions. So when someone at Highlight needs to make a decision and they can say, look, this was the right decision because it help the client get better results and was the better strategy to use. Maybe we went a little bit over budget. Turns out budget is not actually one of our core values. If we ever have any issues as far as a decision that was made, if any person, if any highlighter can say, hey, look, I did this because it was, it adhered to our core values. I will never put them to task. If on the other hand, we find out that they've been hiding things or haven't been motivated or haven't been keen to grow, that violates one of our core values. And either they make a decision of, look, we're gonna follow this on way to our, to our vision of becoming the best and most badass agency in the world, or we're not. And that helps figure out, is that person a good fit? Are they not a good fit? Are they holding us back from finding someone who would be a good fit? So values-based leadership is effectively making sure that we understand what the values are, they're displayed well and everybody understands them, and then every decision that we make lands within what those core values actually define. So if you have any questions about why you should apply values-based leadership or how to do it, or even better yet, share some of the values that your organization has down below in the comments or reach out to me directly at william.walchak on Instagram. I'd love to hear what other companies are doing and where you're applying this concept effectively. Now, get off YouTube and get back to work. This series was filmed at Highlight Creative Group Studio in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, and is made with the help of our creative team. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and check us out at highlight.com.